staat op. 80. Is the future of the BlackBerry platform? Um, mm -hmm. Taking things like all the work that we've got in years of BlackBerry experience on the BlackBerry OS, combining it with cloud services that BlackBerry has always invested in, um, and adding the QNX platform to create the next generation platform for BlackBerry, which is BBX. Yeah. And BBX will be the platform that connects mobile devices with people, with services, and with devices, whether they be smartphones, tablets, cars, machines, or anything else. Mm -hmm. And we're thrilled that there's you know, so many use cases of embedded type technology technology working with you know smartphone and tablet type technology that will help businesses and consumers small business and developers do a whole host of new things yeah and the, um, BBX, the BBX, so BBX is the next version of the platform Correct. that basically means for next generation phones eh? because BBX won't run on the current Blackberries no that's right we, okay. we but, but what's really is a really important point is that for developers who write in webworks which is the Blackberry you know uses HTML5 and it's a web platform to develop applications yeah you can use that platform right now to develop apps in BlackBerry 6, BlackBerry 7 and of course in BBX going forward. Yeah, so okay, so BBX is the new platform that will be on phones which will start to appear on 2012? Yeah, 2012 is what we're yeah. expecting. And, and basically it looks, does it look more like QNX now on the tablet? Is that, is that, is that, did they show it uh, there or? Uh? So I think what you can expect from BBX from a UI perspective is going to be an incredibly rich experience. We're working with, you know, we acquired a company called uh, the Astonishing Tribe, mm -hmm. um, who are working on the UI of things like Playbook and Q, uh, the QNX OS. Yeah. And, <coughs> excuse me, you'll see a really rich um, UI um, coming from BBX, and it'll be highly intuitive. And, you know, what BlackBerry does really well is we understand mobile, right? The reason that that little light bleeps when you get a Facebook message or that little light bleeps when you get a Twitter message mm -hmm. is because we understand how mobile works. So the BBX platform will work across, you know, smartphones, embedded stuff, embedded embedded devices yeah. to deliver that rich experience. I've now driven you down a dead yeah, end. Yeah, you can basically so you can now learn to, reverse. You to, the, to the left and to the front. Left and to the front. Okay. Let's go back. <laughs> I can watch here too. Yeah, and then you can see augmented reality. Look yeah, yeah, Because you can see how it's going to uh, drive. Mm. That's just a bump in here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then up and to the front here. Yep. And then left, no, to the back. Ah. Now that's Japanese. That's moving Japanese. to the back is forward, moving to the front is forward. <laughs> it's just like really crazy. All right. Okay. Um, so BBX is the new platform. It will come in 2012. It will look something like uh, the Playbook, but not exactly the same. They haven't shown how it exactly looks no, no, uh, no, yesterday. Still, no, no, no. no so that will be yeah, in the that will be in the future. What we announced yesterday and is, is yeah. some of the development environments for um, you know the existing platforms. Yeah. So and also what you say, if you want the the current apps which you create on the current BBOS, mm -hmm. they won't be compatible. Um, but if you now start to write in uh, in, uh, in basically in web. HTML5 right. or web, how do you call that? Uh, Webworks. Webworks. Web so with HTML, those will be compatible, right. forward, of course, forward, yeah, because forward. HTML5 yeah. is, is basically... Right. Uh, so for, for the yeah. forward compatibility thing there is important. Yeah. And what's really important is that BBX will be a leverage open standards like HTML5. Um, to create that new experience, and, and actually, what's yeah. really important is, you know, even today on the BlackBerry smartphones and the tablet, um, we have a very we we support mo more HTML5 standards than any other browser, and that's why you can get a very rich HTML5 experience on the BlackBerry Playbook. Okay. It right was also right. yeah, we're yeah. going back, so I'll just give you, give you some help here with this navigation. That's great thing. So Hilton and start. Okay, so HTML5 is the bridge. HTML5 applications is the bridge to uh, to that next uh, to, right. to make that move to the next uh, mm -hmm. platform. And um, so you basically announced a couple of things. We can go here. Thank you. Uh, yesterday, in terms of development, HTML5, and there were a couple, a couple of other um, yeah. So, of other so we also announced new support for Adobe Air 3.0 in the Playbook environment. Of course, that's really important to work with Adobe. Um, you know, yep. a large part of the web today is written in Flash and Adobe technology. So we're supporting that. We announced um, the you know the gold release of our native SDK. Mm -hmm. um, so native SDK, particularly useful for game developers uh, with OpenGL2. Yeah, you showed us a lot of games, lot of games uh, yesterday, right, like fast, games, fast yeah. moving games. That's right. Really, really, really is it going to be important for BlackBerry? I mean, isn't BlackBerry more enterprise-like? Uh, enterprise well, that's, that's a really good question, but we've seen a total blurring between 
um, enterprise use use case and consumer use case. I mean, let's be honest. There's a social phenomenon at play here, which means that um, you know, you, we don't dictate when enter, you know employees work or play. You know, that's a that's a social phenomenon, and I think it's really important for businesses to embrace consumer technology so that they increase the uh, adoption. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I'm straight here. No, no, I'm right. Yeah, yeah, uh, you can go straight oops. here. Straight here, and then the next one you next need to go in, yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, so it's really important that businesses embrace consumer technology <coughs> um, because that consumer technology will mean that more and more of their employees will adopt that technology, and it's the greatest opportunity for innovation and enterprise is to embrace this consumer technology. Now, mm. what is important is that the businesses, you know, those IT managers, those technology leaders will need... Um, you know, robust management tools and software to know in order to help them embrace consumer technology. So, you know, we've just announced. You know, earlier this year we announced the acquisition of Ubitex, and Ubitex will mean that Ubitex. Ubitex is a company based in Munich, in Germany. Yeah. They provide management tools and management capability for, um, you know, the iOS and the Android platform. And BlackBerry's strategy and BlackBerry's view in the enterprise is that the 275,000 BEZ servers that are there today need uh, impatient people, impatient people exactly. in yeah, yeah, mm. they, need, they need to be able to embrace these other platforms so our strategy is to give enterprises the tools the software and the services in order to embrace multiple platforms mm-hmm. um, and that's a really important thing for our customers to, to, to have ok so it will be private life uh, private life on the Blackberry and, uh, and work life eh? there was right. also a lot of presentation on that say the the, the the CIO has the possibility to basically completely wipe the enterprise part of the BlackBerry. Correct. But on the other hand, the person uh, you, the, the person who uses the BlackBerry private, the, the photos and the videos, mm-hmm. that basically stays the same. That's right. so that's we have um, a, we have a change in uh, in private data and work data, and right. those are being sep- those are being managed, managed separate. separately. Right? So we call that BlackBerry balance, yeah. and what it means is that. I have a corporate identity, I have a personal identity, and it means that if I was to get a Word document, for example, to my corporate email, I couldn't forward that using my private email account. Mm -hmm. It protects the sanctity of the corporate data. Now, what's really important about BlackBerry Balance is it's fully integrated to the BlackBerry experience. You don't have to open another application. You don't have to open another kind of environment. You you, you basically exist as a consumer and a uh, a business user Mm -hmm. all inside the same UI. Mm-hmm. And you know that's we're very protective of that because that's the UI and user experience that our customers expect. They don't want to have to flip between corporate use and personal no, it's use. Nice. You have one right? machine, one environment, one machine, and you have a, a lot of different apps, and some are private and some are corporate, and they have different uh, they have Correct. different uh, management uh, management points. So that's right. called BlackBerry Balance. Is Blackberry that balance. something at the uh, is that something which is coming or which is no, there that's now that's, or? Yeah. So that's that BlackBerry Balance to us is a philosophy of how we're going to build our service. So it's a okay. Available now in Bears 503. Yeah. It's available in operating uh, system six um, and above, and we're going to add to the feature support on BlackBerry Balance across our smartphones and BlackBerry Balance across tablets. Okay, so that is available. Uh, that approach is now available. Starting to be available now. That's right. It's yeah. available right now. If everybody is updating to the la- latest level of uh, Bears and software and, uh, and Bears and software and um, okay, <coughs> so. Basically, you've had a great year. There's enough. Uh, there's enough money. We go. This is the hotel. We're back. Uh, back here. So we turn left here. So, wh- what do you think? Um, uh, how you had also a fantastic marketing campaign eh, to basically to show people how difficult it is to live without uh, BlackBerry uh, services. To um, turn it off for a couple of days. Is, did that work? Does everybody see that they're completely uh, junky? Well, uh, yeah, that wasn't that wasn't a marketing campaign, as, as you know. Um, and I know you were I know you were joking there a little bit. But, um, no, let me. Look. Well, what's really important? <laughs> it was very quiet days. Uh, what, free quiet yeah, days. What's really what's uh, really Im- what's really important to us is yeah. we provide secure, real time global messaging for our customers, whether they be small businesses, consumers, enterprise customers. Yeah. And you know, quite frankly, for three days last week, we didn't provide that. Um, we're sorry for the service interruption, but what's really important to us is that our global infrastructure um, supports now 70 million users. Mm-hmm. It's an incredibly co- complex and robust infrastructure. 
and we want to appreciate all of the customers that use that service. So we've announced, you know, in the last couple of days, applications that consumers and end users in the business can use, and we've announced a free month technical support for all of our users. BlackBerry needs to deliver on that promise, mm -hmm. and we will win our customers' trust, and it's really important that we do that. Okay. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. I hope I didn't scratch your car. No, you didn't. What do you think of driving electric? I think it's terrific. Terrific. Really, really good. I'm very impressed. Okay. And we're entering... Stop the interview. Fantastic. And we're done. Thank Super. you. All right. What do I uh, do? I push this button. Yeah. yeah. That was, that's I'm unique. I'm impressed. Whoa. <laughs>